everyone! Today I'll be showing you how you can make the alternating endless falls knot. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that I recently released my brand new macrame guides. There's a lot of great information inside these guides, so please check out the link in the description to learn more. Let's get started. Start by folding one cord in half and attaching it to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Before you pull this lark's head knot tight, we're going to slide another rope in right underneath the knot. So take your second cord and just stick the end right through the gap, pull it through until it's even on both sides, and then pull that lark's head knot tight to secure everything into place. Now to tie our first endless falls knot, we're gonna take the two outer cords and cross the left over the right to form a loop. I like to pinch it right here where everything crosses the cords in the middle so it looks like I have two well-defined loops. I'm gonna take the cord in the middle right and send it over and around and through the right loop. Then I'm gonna take the middle left cord, twist it up, and around so it goes through the left loop. Then I'm just gonna pull on those outer two cords to tighten up the knot, and then I'm just going to smooth out the knot by pulling on those other two cords that are in the middle. Just like that. Now I'm going to move down a row and work on tying an alternating endless falls knot. So to do this, I'm gonna take those blue cords, so they were the outer cords in my case, and once again, I'm gonna cross the left over the right to form my loop. I'm just gonna pinch it right here where everything connects so it looks like I have two well-defined loops. Now I'm going to take that middle right cord, twist it up and around and through the loop. Then I'm gonna do the same on the left side. It twists up and around and through that left loop. And I just pull my ropes tight to secure the knot and to pull it all into place. Just like that. Now I'm going to move on and tie an alternating knot between these two previous knots. Okay, so I'm gonna take the two outer cords from each previous knot, cross the left over the right to form my loop, pinch it so I see two loops, then take the right middle cord up and around the right loop and do the same on the left side. Now I can move down and tie a third row. So I'm going back to the four cords here all the way on the far left. My blue cords, so always the ones that were the outer cords from each previous knot, are going to cross over each other to form my two loops. And then it's the same process over again. course you can always keep making your rows go inwards like a V shape so I would just tie one more alternating knot on this next row between the two here in the middle. Thank you. 
just like that. And this is what it will look like once you are all finished up. This is a great alternative method to using the square knot, so it gives you a great variety in how you can make your macrame artwork. Of course, you can always add more ropes across your dowel rod to make the pattern wider. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring, and thank you so much for watching.